Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High and Christ bless. Hey, this, uh, I ain't gonna say 10 minutes of truth. I say 15 minutes of truth. Uh, we Captain Ho Shia. Uh, hey, um, I had got a call earlier today, uh, from a sister. She was talking about, uh, did you see the reports about, um, Israel burning? Uh, so look, uh, this one of the articles that I found, they ain't know nothing about it. Um, uh, I just heard about it today. Uh, it said, where's the story? Hold on, let's see. It said, where's the story on Israel burning? Israel is on fire. Over 200 fires have started, been set since Tuesday. So now look, check this out, y'all. I'm going to show y'all a quick little video. The number of forces in the area was unprecedented. More than 800 firefighters assisted by 150 fire trucks and 40 designated aircraft participated in putting out the fire while many countries responded to the call and sent for them. Okay, y'all, so look. I ain't gonna play the whole video. Hey, y'all go to it uh, when you get time. Now, we keep trying to tell y'all, those people over there, they send the land, they ain't the real Jews. And proof in the pudding, uh, when you read Isaiah 14 and 1, let's get the prophecy. It say, uh, For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. And they shall cleave to their enemies. It's a, uh, I mean, they could shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So I read it wrong, y'all. Somebody called my phone, threw me off. But hey, it is what it is. But look, I'm going to read it again. It say, Isaiah 14 and 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. And set them in their own land, and the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. So after the great dispoiler, uh, the Israelites, or the dispersal, let's get it real quick. Let's get the prophecy. The Israelites were scattered into all lands. This is in chapter 4, verse 27, for breaking God's commandments. They're supposed to be set back in their own land. But look, check this out. Let's read this. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. It say, And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and you shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. So the Israelites were scattered among all nations. And how was they scattered? Let's get Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. It said, The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you or redeem you. Your brother ain't going to be able to redeem you out of, the, out of this captivity. Now, when you go to Exodus 20, verse 2, because I know a lot of new people be looking at these videos. Um, it say, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of of the house of bondage. God called Egypt the house of bondage. So he's saying we're going to go back to the house of bondage again with ships. Now look, um, that's how we were scattered into all lands. I want to get another scripture. Go to Luke chapter 21 verse 24. This proof in the pudding that the people that's in the land over there right now are not Israel. They're the Gentiles. Luke 21 verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. The true Israelites to be led away captive into all nations. And how they were led away? On cargo slave ship for breaking the commandments of God. 
He's saying Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. The times of the Gentiles ain't being fulfilled because Christ's kingdom ain't set up yet. Christ's kingdom ain't on this earth. The times of the Gentile has uh, of the Gentiles has not been fulfilled. Now let's go back to Isaiah fourteen and one because I'm trying to make a point. It say, "For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob, and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob." The strangers is talking about the other nations, and let me show you how they're gonna cleave to the house of Jacob, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Them people in the land of Israel right now, they ain't ruling over their oppressors. They, 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 they constantly at war with the Palestinians. They is not ruling over the oppressors. They ain't ruling over uh, uh, the Germans. I think that was the Germans that sat up there. And uh, had them in so-called consecration camps. They ain't ruling over them. Well, look, let's keep going. Verse 3. And it shall come to pass in, in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. So I said the most high supposed to give thee rest. They ain't resting if the damn land on fire over there. How in the hell is they getting any type of rest? Look, y'all, you got this guy named Arthur Kosler. And uh, somebody, hey, believe it or not, I had somebody break in my car. They stole a lot of damn books from me. But the Lord's willing, they read them and repent. But uh, Arthur Kosler wrote a book called The Thirteenth Tribe. Um, the Khazar Empire and his heritage. I'm going to read this. It said The Thirteenth Tribe is a 1976 book by Arthur Kosler in which he advances the thesis that Ashkenazi Jews are not descended from the historical Israelites of antiquity. So he let you know right then and there, man. All the coastal is saying, hey, man, they ain't the ancient, ancient Israelites. It is what it is. But from Khazars, a Turkic people, uh, Kosla hypothesized that the Khazars who converted to Judaism in the 8th century migrated westward, westwards into Eastern Europe in the 12th and 13th centuries when the Khazar Empire was collapsing. Coastal used previous works by Douglas Morton Dunlop, Raphael Patai, and Abraham Poliak as sources. His stated intent was to make anti-Semitism disappear by disproving its racial bias. Popular reviews of the books were missed. Academic critiques of his research were generally negative. And, and Coastal biographers David Cesarani and Michael Scammer panned it. So uh, he wrote this book basically saying, y'all got to read it for yourself, that the people that's over there in Israel right now, they ain't the real Jews. And look, we only have to read his book to get this information. Matter of fact, um, go to Revelation uh, 2 and 9. Revelation chapter 2 and 9. Now, it's this prophecy. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the sin of God uh, saying. He said, look, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not. Who's saying they Jews? Because we just not started saying that we were Jews when we heard the truth. They the ones who over there claim to be Jews. They've been claiming to be Jews for a while now. He said they are the sin of God and say. And let me show you something else. With Revelation 3 and 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue and the same, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. So he let you know it's going to be some people uh, acting like they Jews, and they not. He said, look, I'm going to make them worship at your feet. The, basically, I made this video to show you, hey, the land of Israel over there on fire. The prophecy say when they come back, when we come back into the land, we're supposed to dwell safely and we're supposed to have peace. If the damn land is on fire over there, you ain't safe and you ain't in peace. Let's read this. Uh, it say the over 60,000 Israelis evacuated. If you evacuate, your ass ain't safe and you sold in the hell ain't in peace. Evacuated, begin returning to their charred homes. 
to assess the damage as police and firefighting units remain heavily deployed in the Hoffa area for the fear that the fires could be uh, ignited due to the dry, windy weather. You hear that? The fear. The fear. You don't supposed to be. If they was in the kingdom of heaven, you ain't going to be in no fear. They over there scared as hell right now, man. Them ain't the real Jews. When the real Jews come back in the land, man, we ain't going to have to worry about nothing. I'm going to go to Leviticus 26 real quick. Let me show you the blessings for obedience, for real, for keeping God's commandments. Uh, I'm going to get to the point. Verse 3. It says, if you walk in my statutes and keep my commandments and do them, let me see, verse 6. And I will give peace in the land, and you shall lie down, and none shall make you afraid. And I will rid evil beasts out of the land. Neither shall the sword go through your land. It's not them folks having war over there. It's the sword, the sword going through the land. So they is not the Jews, man. For real, though. The sword is going through the land. Is they afraid over there? Damn right they're afraid. We just read an article saying they scared to go back into their houses. Thinking the fire going to rekindle. For real. It said, you shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And five of you shall chase a hundred, and a hundred of you shall put ten thousand to flight. And your enemies shall fall before you by the sword. So, look, y'all, this was just a little quick video that I put together. Um, y'all can, uh, down. I mean, I don't know if you can download this book or not, but you can check it out, man. I know somebody ended up killing off the coast, the coastal. I think he was assassinated after he wrote this book. Uh, but anyway, hey, they ain't the real Jews, y'all. With that, I'm going to say uh, shalom. Most high Christ bless. Uh, hey, I'm going to get it. I got another video coming soon, so y'all be looking out for it. Shalom. <laughs>